Hello, everyone. I'm Gui Xun Zhu from University of Plymouth. I'm very pleased to introduce my work, Parallel Speech Model with Pneumatic Model for Oscillating Watercraft. Uh, the uh, introduced will be uh, as the outline. So as one of the most available ocean energy sources, wave energy has the advantage of high energy density. A large number of wave energy converters has been developed so far, of which oscillating water current may be regarded as one of the most successful types. The classic OWC consists of a water crown and a thin wall air chamber, which is bottom, submerged, and open to the sea. The opening arranges the water crown to oscillate up and down, driven by the inside and waves. The motion of water crown in turn drives the air trapped in the chamber to pass through and air to them. Finally, electronic is produced by a generator connected with the turbine. For OWC devices, water and the air are strongly coupled inside the chamber, affecting the hydrodynamic performance. The air pressure in the OWC chamber acts on the free surface inside the chamber and acts the ostication of water crown directly. Meanwhile, the air pressure is strongly depend, de dependent on the water current oscillation. So when you try to simulate the OWC, it's very important to consider air influence. Uh, SPH method has been used for OW, OWC investigation. It is worth mentioning that the air pressure OWC chambers has never modeled in any published SPH based OWC research. Uh, yeah, air water phase two phase mode SPH model can solve this problem in a straightforward way, but this method needs more computational cost. Here, uh, we try to develop a parallel single phase SPH model with a pneumatic model to uh, investigate OWC. Uh, the governing equation for SPH model is uh, use the delta SPH model. And uh, in order to consider air pressure in single phase model, the air pressure should be considered in uh, the gradient of pressure. Uh, a parabolic expression between air velocity on the duct and the air pressure in the chamber was considered to estimate air pressure. And then the air pressure will be imposed to the free surface inside the chamber. Uh, here is a communicating vessel to validate the pneumatic model. For this case, the two containers are connected at the bottom with the same wide and the initial water depth. At the beginning, 1,000 power is imposed in right hand container. It means like the original level balance will be broken and the two water crown will oscillate up and down until a new balance is achieved. Uh, here is a video of the light. And uh, the right hand figure shows the time series of uh, free surface differences between two containers. It can be seen light, the free surface level differences oscillate with time, and the amplitude of oscillation, os oscillation decays as time processes. Finally, the free surface reach a steady value as we expect. Uh, it means light. Uh, the pneumatic model has been successfully integrated into the single phase SPH model. Uh, so in order to improve the efficiency, we try to develop a parallel SPH framework. Uh, so at first, the demand, the competition, we set up the sub-demand sub, uh, boundary around the two direction of uh, competition demand. Based on the sub-boundary, the through particles Ghost particles interpolation nodes are placed into the, uh, the corresponding processors. 
Meanwhile, subdomain in the same clone or one direction has the same sub, uh, subdomain boundary through the whole calculation process. Uh, each grid corresponds to one processor. Uh, here, the index sort method is used to solve the particle in memories according to the grid index. Uh, the grid index can be calculated as this. Uh, as least ca uh, calculation, as least uh, formulation. Uh, according to the position, we can find a corresponding grid for every particle. Once the position of particles are updated, the grid index needs to be determined again. The sort particles array is processed in parallel. Meanwhile, according to the index, the neighboring subdomain can be determined. Uh, for a particle near the subboundary, there is an interpolation truncation due to the uh, demand decomposition. Therefore, it requires a neighboring uh, subdomain to perform particle to particle interaction called interactive particles here. In other words, Particle searching for a particle in one subdomain should include particles in neighboring subdomain. In neighboring subdomain, particles uh, at a distance of uh, one curve subdomain, uh, curve, yeah, curve subdomain uh, from the boundary are transferred. The information of these particles is sent to relevant uh, subdomain by point to point communication. Uh, so with respect to the dynamic load balance, uh, the key to light is maintain the average particle numbers in each subdomain. Therefore, the strategy for dynamic load balance is to update the subboundary to maintain a constant uh, average particle numbers. Uh, a new subboundary at each time step need to consider the uh, Inflow outflow particles. Uh, so, when considering the load balance along one direction, all information of the inflow and the outflow particles uh, need to be considered. Meanwhile, we also recall the position of particles farthest away from the subboundary as a reference position for the new uh, uh, subboundary. So, here. When the outflow, when the number of outflow particles is greater than the number of inflow particles, the boundary uh, becomes the farthest outflow particles position. Uh, when the number of outflow particles is less than the number of inflow particles, the boundary becomes the farthest inflow particle position. Uh, the main idea here is to find the main direction of particle motion to ensure the constant particle numbers by changing the subboundary. And uh, when the number of subboundary particles is greater than the average numbers particles, uh, the subboundary is not changed. Uh, here we use the dam breaking case to test the performance of dynamic. Uh, Road balance strategy. Uh, since the flow motion and the large deformation of free surface, this case is very suitable for test the dynamic road balance strategy. Uh, the right hand figure shows the time history of load allowed. Uh, it can be found like the present road balance strategy is obvious effective. Each processor has almost the same particles numbers eventually. Uh, in order to consider the overall parallel performance of the SPH framework, weak and strong scaling tests must be conducted. Struggling studies uh, for the test for the test time saving when simulating large uh, scale problems. Uh, the speed up relative to one close to the number of computational costs working on the same program in yearly. It can be found light as the, fi uh, the figure A1 and A2. It can be found light 
the number of calls increases, the speed up line gradually is far away from the ideal values. The increasing number of calls can reduce the number of particles per call. This leads to the reduction in the cost per call, per call calculation. However, communica communication leads to uh, low efficiency. And uh, in figure B1 and B2, it shows the total simulation time and efficiency for weak scaling, uh, sc weak weakling scale uh, test. As the number of calls increase, the calculation time also increases. As a result, the efficiency also decreases. As calls increases, the calculation time also increases. As a result, the efficiency also decreases as the number of calls increases. Although the number of particles in each call remains the same, uh, the increase in combination time due to the increased cost affect the whole computational efficiency. Uh, so here we use the uh, parallel single phase SPH model to simulate an OWC with a platform at the bottom. The numerical OWC was at Examining the same scale as the physical OWC devices. A slot on the top cover is used to simulate the damping of the turbine. The experiment was carried out in Plymouth University waveform. And uh, this figure shows the SPH uh, results for the air pressure drop and the chamber free surface evolution at the center in compared with uh, experiment data. Surface evolution of SPH model is consist with the experiment. Pressure evolution curves are smaller uh, than the experiment variables at the peaks or source. The reason is mainly due to the expression used for the air pressure calculation, neglecting air compressibility. Here is a video for light. We can, uh, the color means the pressure. We can, we can find light uh, outside the chamber, the three surface pressure is always consistent. However, the pressure inside the chamber is changing according to the uh, water crumb uh, up and down. Finally, we can draw conclusion. The numerical model predicts wave interaction with an OWC in good agreement with experiments. Parallel SPH framework can maintain a road balance. However, its efficiency can still need to be improved. Uh, in the future, the SPH model will be applied to improve the hydrodynamic efficiency, uh, efficiency of OWC devices and the predict survivability under extreme weight conditions. Um, so let's all. Okay, thank you very much. So I can't see any questions immediately in the Q and A. Uh, so if anybody wants to ask uh, Gaojun anything at all, uh, so you don't necessarily have to do it right now. Um, if you have any questions you'd like to ask him, uh, please do put them into the Q&A and as we go forward, uh, we can answer them. Saying that, uh, there's a question from uh, Kun Lee. Uh, so how many particles do you have in one domain typically? Uh, uh, in this case, uh, we totally used uh, 80,000 particles. So uh, every, every uh, supplement will have almost uh, uh, 8,000 particles. Uh, in this scaling test, uh, for the weakling scale case, we have one, uh, uh, 100, uh, 100, 10,000 particles per cost and uh, uh, 40,000 particles per cost. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, one of the panelists, uh, 
Professor Ben Rogers has his hand up, his virtual hand up. So uh, I'll let you. Hello, can you can you hear me all right? Yes, yeah, I can yeah. hear you. Uh, so very nice presentation, very interesting. Um, I've just got um, one suggestion and one question. Uh, my suggestion just for your parallel performance analysis is to consider using um, a heat map. Um, heat map. Yeah, this, is, this helps you identify how much time is being spent in each processor or in each core, in your case, um, throughout the simulation. And, it, and if, it, if the load balancing is working correctly, that heat map should, should only have horizontal lines. Um, yeah, so that's something worth uh, considering. I can send you a reference if you need one. My, my question is uh, about your results are right at the very end, because you said that the difference between the SPH results and your the experiment was yeah. because of the air compressibility. But your air is moving very slowly here. And so your Mach number is very small for the air. And so the air is effectively incompressible. So I'm not sure uh, um, that the reason for the discrepancy is due to the air compressibility. Do you, are you, do you have any sort of response to that or any ideas? Okay, thank you. Thank you for your suggestion and uh, question. So, so here we used a single phase SPH model. So we didn't simulate the air phase here. So when we try to use this, uh, this, uh, ex this expression to calculate the uh, air pressure, we need to know the airflow rate, right? But we didn't ca calculate the air phase. So the air volume change here is according to the water, ch water surface change. Okay, I mean, it looks to me as though that equation is the one that's at fault rather than the compressibility exactly. Yeah. So we use the uh, the changing the change of water crown to uh, to calculate the airflow rate. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, you've identified where the issue is. It's with that equation. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ben. Uh, so I can't see any further anything else in the Q and A right now. Uh, I said we do have time in the the schedule to answer other questions. So if you have anything that you'd like to ask, Arjun, as we move forward, and um, please just just do put that into the Q and A. Just make sure it's obvious that it's a question uh, for him. Uh, okay, so thank you very much, Arjun.